They're off and are racing for the William Hill King George VI steeplechase. Two circuits of the course and 18 fences. Madison Duberle, Danny Cook's already lost his cap, leads Nakarat to the first. Then Riverside Theatre, Corte Star settled fourth or fifth to the outside with only Alberta's run wider as they come over the first. And all got over there okay. And for Paddy de Plastra, racing there in midfield alongside the Nightingale. As they come over the second, Nakarat has now taken charge, as he often does. Planet of Sand, the last one over there. So Nakarat will lead them to the back straight. With Corte Star up, disputing second place outside Madison du Burle. Alberta's run is uh, racing out three wide on the track. Two links, then long run. Races outside the Nightingale Riverside Theatre for Paddy de Plastra. Second last now, Planet of Sound. As they go to the first of the four fences in the back straight. Stretched out by about uh, eight or nine lengths. The pace, just a medium one at the moment, set by the grey Nakarat. With Corto Star, the familiar noseband, ranging up to his outside, almost level now. And Alberta's run out on the right is uh, making almost a line of three here. Followed then by Madison Duberle. It was a bit slow there at that fence, number three. Long run racing right in the middle, in touch. Riverside Theatre, the Nightingale runs over on the rail for Paddy de Plastra, taking a good grip back in the field with Planet of Sands. They take the second one down the back straight and all coming over there nicely, still continuing, having jumped the first four. The next one is the open ditch. Seven lengths covers them, Nakarat out in front by a length and three quarters. Corto Star is chasing, then long run, Madison du Berlay. And the Nightingale to the inside, then Alberta's run is out a bit wider, and followed then by Riverside Theatre, tracking them about sixth or seventh, going along on the bridle then. Uh, alongside four Paddy de Plastra as they take the next one in the back. Nakarat got in a bit tight to that. He went in a length and a half in front, came out only half a length to the good at the best. Planet of Sand still ridden patiently at the back of the field by Richard Johnson as they come round the home turn on the first circuit, having jumped the first six of the 18 fences, and Nakarat is the leader, but they're all stacked up behind. Corto Star with a purple cap, just giving chase. Long run for company to its inner in brown and orange. Alberta's run, the white sleeves to the outside of those. And the Nightingale has never left the inside rail. Madison du Berle's back midfield now alongside Riverside Theatre as they come to the first in the straight. And then Planet of Sound. And for Paddy de Plaster, the back marker coming over there, eight lengths off the lead. As they come to the second one up the straight, this is number eight. And still the grey Nakarat bowling along. With long run, pressing now, only three parts of a length behind the Nightingale. A slight error there on the inside rail, a little bit clumsy. Shaken up on landing, didn't cost him too much ground. The fence in front of the stands, this will be a big one next time round. And it's Nakarat by two lengths into it now from long run as he came over. Corto Star, a very handy third closest to us, coming up past the stands with the circuit. And Corto getting a tremendous cheer from the crowd too. Riverside Theatre. Is a handy fourth then, about five lengths off the lead. Alberta's run just uh, getting a bit outpaced mid races, losing ground for Paddy de Plastra, Planet of Sound, the Nightingale. Madison de Burley has dropped to last place now, so they've completed a circuit and go out for another lap of Kempton Park and they go to fences 10 and 11, taken down the side of the course. And it's Nakarat from Long Run. Corto Star has always been travelling nicely right on the heels of the leaders. Then Riverside Theatre racing over on the inside. The Nightingale for Paddy de Plaster. Alberta's run still out wide. Madison du Burle and Planet of Sand, the back markers as they came over this one. And again, the Nightingale, a slight mistake there. It's about third last now as they go to the next open ditch. Fence number 11. Nakarat just applying a bit of pressure. Really stood off that fence. A terrific jump by Nakarat. And he's got a couple of lengths away. But Long Run is travelling stylishly right behind. Only a length and a half away, Corso Star sits menacingly in third place as they turn onto the far side of the track with a mile to go still in the King George VI steeplechase. Then Riverside Theatre still in touch. Planet of Sound is creeping up through the field now. The Nightingale and Alberta's run. Madison du Berle is dropping back through the field and for Paddy de Plastra is pulling up. So going towards the seventh from home now. And Nakarat still hanging on to this lead. Harried still by Long Run and Corto Star, shaken up by AP to the outside as they come over here. Three leaders covered by two lengths. Then comes Riverside Theatre, still close in fourth, the Nightingale and Planet of Sound, and they're getting away from the others as they come to the next one down the back straight. This is six from home, and Riverside Theatre got in far too close to that one, disputing fourth place and lost a length in the air. So they go towards the final open ditch now. 
It's five from home, and it's Nakarat, the leader here. Long run, caught out to the outside, going for a big one, but didn't get it quite right. He's still right there, about two lengths off the lead, though. Corto looking for this historic fifth win in the King George. Four from home here, and it's Nakarat, another flying leap by the grey. Long run over second. Corto Star being ridden along by AP now. As they come to the final turn, Corto Star has four lengths to make up on these two leaders. They're getting away from Riverside Theatre, Planet of Sound, and then comes the Nightingale, and AP pulls the stick on Corto, who has four lengths to make up in the home straight, but he's not quite out of it yet. They turn for home with three more to jump. Nakarat pressed by long run. Three lengths away is Corto Star, who's going to have to produce a really heroic performance here to pull this one out of the bag. But you can't quite rule him out yet. Then Riverside Theatre, three from home. And it's long run got to the front. Corto Star battling up to dispute second place with Nakarat as they come to the second from home. Long run. Here comes Corto Star after him. The hero still got two lengths to make up, though. And the young pretender, long run, Corto Star hit it really hard. McCoy hanging on for his life. He's managed to preserve the horse in the race, but surely his chance is gone now if long run jumps the last. Long run with one more to go in the King George with Riverside Theatre battling in the second place. Long run clears it. Riverside Theatre over in second place. Corto Star is third, then Nakarat. And we have a new champion. It's Long Run who wins by 10 legs stylishly. Terrific stuff. Riverside Theatre for second, Corto Star a gallant run third, but not so good enough today. Maybe he'll be back for another try at the fifth, and Nakarat complete. <laughs>